What do we got? Yeah, The Irishman finally gets a release in theaters. And, but how how the, long? But the major, uh, major theater chains are refusing to do it. So no. let me... Uh, Why are they refusing to do it? IndieWire reports that Netflix could not convince major theater chains to budge, oh. even from new Martin Scorsese f- uh, film. The theater chains were worried about opening the floodgates of abbreviated releases, and so The Irishman will be in indie theaters for three weeks only, per nice. IndieWire. Per IndieWire, on November 1st, it will open in Los Angeles and New York, followed by a platform release in U.S. and U.K. November 8th, adding more theaters each weekend on November 5th and 22nd when it premieres on the 15th. On so, basically, so, Netflix the 15th. Get, so Netflix will be exactly what they want. Most people will watch it on Netflix. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But that makes it eligible for awards. Is that why they yeah. – yeah. Isn't it eligible? Just is it not eligible if you're just on Netflix anymore? No, I don't yeah. you got to okay. run it. You got to run it at the theaters for a little bit. But remember, they were in talks with AMC theaters to try to get yeah. it in there. But yeah. then, yeah, well, AMC because they wanted, wanted like three months. Because I think yeah. AMC wanted, yeah, wanted ninety they, days. Yeah, they figured they can get some money out of it. But yeah, Netflix. Yeah, but it, but if you, I, I wouldn't have budged either if I was Netflix. It's this like, is what you, you did. Put, you, you signed up for Netflix. If you put right. the theater, if you put it in the theater for three months, then you take. I'm going to go see in the theater, and I'm not going to watch it at home. Yeah. And and like I said, I don't think. That it's gonna keep the attention for more than six, maybe five. Yeah, I'm yeah. okay with this because I'm. Are gonna... you guys gonna go see it in theaters? No, I'm gonna no. set it up. In, I'm gonna set up my television, kick back, and Me watch too. it on my television. I don't Me need. To, I don't need to see a movie like that in the theaters. It's no. not Endgame. It's yeah, the that, Irishman. That was the joke that Mark Maron made, by the way. That was really funny. He's like, he's like, he, he goes, he, can you actually can you bring up the the clip? Because the clip, the, the what he's saying is is even though I am a big, uh, I, you guys know I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm a big uh, comic book movie fan. Yeah, sure. But I understand. I know him. Yeah. But I but but when <laughs> but when you listen to what he said, you go, he makes good points. Yeah. Like bring yeah bring up the uh, just put Mark Maron. No 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 not Irishman. Uh, comic book movies. Conan. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's Marvel. Didn't he go after Marvel? I bet. Yeah, he went after Marvel. Oh, so yeah, that's it. That's it. Just so let's go again. I think like, it's probably it's probably like two sixteen. I would say a minute into it. Let's try a minute. Let's say turn it up. No, I generally don't like them because yeah. I you know I don't want to be bullied into seeing those. Mo- Look, Conan, I'm a grown up. I'm not seven, <laughs> and I think those movies are for for you know grown male nerd childs, oh. and 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 and. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, right. Take the hit. You guys are in charge of culture. Now I gotta, I gotta go travel 15, 20 minutes to a smaller movie theater to see a grown-up movie. I'm scared. With other grown-ups where we can all sit together and not understand the ending. You know... <laughs> what? This is just funny. Yeah, it's good. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it's like he's clearly doing it to poke the bear, and I get it. Because like, he doesn't this care. Is, but he doesn't that. care, and it, and and it is like I said. It's it's when you look at like Bill Maher. Bill Maher is just is, is just a dick. He's a grouchy old but comedian. This is, this I don't is know. Kind of like what I get out with like everything in space, the stupid time continuums, all the freaking flash points and flash. That's so why I was like, listen, I'm done with it. I don't need all the like when you told me about Wandavision. I'm like I'm throwing my microphone out the studio. Yeah. Like I don't. Don't come. care. It's if it's funny, like you probably wind up liking it. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably yeah. Probably but if it goes you. like if there's like a couple like dark jokes about life, and then all of a sudden it's like Legion, like I, people are like Legion is I perfect. Think it's gonna be that. And I know that Cobster and Cody loved Legion. Whoever Cody else does. was like Cody does. Sorry, Cody loved Legion. It was this cerebral journey. If somebody says the word cerebral or alternate reality. I'm cash my chips. I like bad boys too. Like yeah. give me a linear action for like the simple things. Like I that. do. And that's fine. <laughs> and that's absolutely fucking yeah. fine. And yeah. fine what he's doing too. I love that people just it, it's the culture now we're in. Everybody gets fucking I actually offended. read the comments on, on this fine? and a lot of well, a lot of people were like, yeah, you know, like I'm a comic movie fan, but yeah, it makes sense. It's like because that goes back to the Irishman thing is that you, he's not going to go. There's a lot not a lot of movies that people are going to see the smaller movies in the theater. That it is the big because the other reason why, I was watching this with it last night, and it's a big budget movie. It's a big budget, really horror film that's kind of grandiose. And I was like, this is what movies now to be in the theater have to be. Yeah. Because people, and it's and it's not because oh man, you know, it's, uh, it's something wrong with the culture. No, it, it's because it's so expensive to, to go to the movies, and you want to go to the movies, and you want to be. It's just like you're going to a show, a big yeah. show. When it's something like you know. 
smaller movies, and I think, to be honest with you, the better quality movies are the smaller movies. The yeah. better movies that are, usually come out. My what Peanut hits Butter on, Falcon. Peanut yeah, Butter Falcon. I was I just mean, that, well, that was earlier this year. Good but, boys. But, but yeah, but when you well, that's but that's still that's a comedy, sure. big studio, kind of studio movie. I'm okay. talking about the the movies with all the quality, with the great acting and the great stories are the movies that most people don't even get a chance to see, and those are the ones that come out from September until, like, until a, December until award season. Basically, everybody binges those movies because they yeah, have to. Those yeah. are the best movies that come out as mm-hmm. far as when you want to see directing and acting and writing. Life it itself. is. But I don't, I much rather like watching those movies in the comfort of my home. Me totally. Too. I don't really love going to see those movies in, in the big screen. I don't need to. Yeah. Yeah, I especially don't love seeing those indies in, uh, in theaters because I'm somebody who's very affected by the people around me mm-hmm. and I don't, I usually have a different opinion on movies than other people do. No. Surprise, surprise. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not saying that I... Like, if other people aren't feeling something, it throws off the energy in the room. I want to enjoy something where I want to enjoy it, how I want to enjoy it. And the best opportunity to do that is usually by myself. Yeah. Let me let me ask you a question. Is, like, if a lot of these movies that you guys go to get screenings for, if you didn't have screenings for them, would you ever see them in the theater? Like, some, I mean, I'm not putting the like Super Bowl Like, what kind? The big ones or the little the ones? The little ones, the indies. If, we, um, if it wasn't Job Wars. Uh, well, yeah. here's what yeah, I'll say. Probably not. I wasn't. Yeah. Before I was doing this, <laughs> right. so well that uh, so Think no, that says it all. Yeah. But, that, but that well, that just also comes back because it's because the answer to that question is access, mm-hmm. and that's why these streaming services help so much mm-hmm. because more people have access to them. Because if a movie like Scors- Scorsese's movie Irishman, right? Fifteen years ago, the only way you can get it seen from Scorsese, because it's Scorsese, is you got to put it in the theaters, mm-hmm. and you're not going to get a big, huge return on it. You, you know, you, a lot of people will see it, but you're not going to get a huge return on it. Like Casino, how much money did Casino make overall? Can we look at the at the box office? And that's a very successful it's, movie, it's a, but, and it's a great movie. It's a, great a lot movie. of people call it, you know, uh, Goodfellas too. Yeah, but, but it's yeah. still so fantastic. It, it made 116 million overall. Okay? okay, wow. Now that's a good number for 1995, but it's not. Massive, no. But and f- fifteen, twenty years ago, that movie comes out. Today, Casino, it's go- it's going streaming. Streaming, yes. It's a streaming movie because it's you a want people- three hour mobster class. You want people to see it. Yes. Also, that's why Netflix and so that's why Scorsese made the deal. He wants people to see the Irishman. There's more hype on the Irishman now as a as a Netflix yeah. movie than there totally. would be if it's coming out in in. Has the screen has Once Upon a Time in Hollywood made over 150 million dollars yet? I don't know. Let's look I'm at sure that. it's over that's, 100, right? Right, and, and that's because you it, got Tarantino's name. Did. So how much box office? So, so let's see. It's, right now it's made 200. And, I mean that's 239. That's good. That's good. And that's, is that domestic or is that that's overall? Both. That's that's overall. That's I think. overall. Yeah. Okay. Um, you put the word Hollywood in a lot of different. It's made 123 movies. million. Okay. So far domestic. And this is you know what we're talking about Tarantino and and in. You know, I think Brad the same Pitt, thing. Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, and it had a ninety million dollars. That, yeah, that's yeah. a high budget and yeah. marketing. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's, so it, it's it, got to keep going. It's got to keep going. So right, right now it's probably just about broke even. Yeah, mm-hmm. if not, but it, it'll do. It'll do it in. Um, whether it's the returns of Blu-rays. And, and, and I'm sure, like, depending on the success or how creative, for whatever the case may be, if Scorsese, I don't know Scorsese and Tarantino are buddies, but if he's like, listen, man, my experience with Netflix was so much better than any experience I've had before, I would lean towards, like, why don't you put your, nef- your mo- next movie on Netflix? Which is, the that is, now, I wonder Martin if Tarantino Scor- would saying, do that. Martin Scorsese yeah. is a film purist. I mean, he is. From you remember what he did with even with Hugo? Have you seen Hugo? I mean, that's, that's the whole that's the whole movie. But holding all those original prints, and everything. But Tarantino, I mean, I could never see him debuting a movie streaming. I, don't think I couldn't so. either. I never mm. see it happen. He's a theater. I mean, he owns a theater. Yeah. He owns a movie theater. That he screens all He's these also, movies. Uh, for lack of better words, slightly more pretentious. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever it's the kind, of, whatever the kinder yeah. version of yeah. that. Is. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, he likes his film, and he likes to present it in a certain way, and that's what yeah. you said. He has the new Beverly because he loves the film experience, so mm-hmm. I couldn't see him. They're both great.